Okay, now that Bootstrap is installed, we're going to uh, download and uh, do the same thing. Basically, it's going to be a, a very similar procedure with jQuery. Uh, they don't, they're not made by the same folks. Uh, jQuery is all JavaScript uh, library. It looks very, well, doesn't look very much like the Bootstrap library does. This is all in JavaScript, uh, but it, it's very similar in that it's a bunch of gibberish and it's a bunch of code that's already been pre-programmed and functions that uh, are very useful were put all into this big file and uh, we're going to do also the long way we're going to download it and and upload it to our github site at some point we'll be able to just uh, log in and tell it uh, to pull a using a shortcut to go get it from uh, google or some uh, some outfit like that so i'll start by uh, downloading jQuery it's right there big orange button and uh, it's giving me several options uh, some of them are for the command line where we want the big file uh, with everything so I will download the uncompressed development jQuery I'll right click on this link download the uncompressed development jQuery and tell it to save the link as and I'll put it in the same place in my files folder. Tell it to save. And this is all text, so it shouldn't take too long. And it's there. And this is literally just one big file. It's got a JS extension. And uh, this then will belong in the same place, in the same folder, where we put the JS, the JavaScript, for our bootstrap. I can do this uh, several ways. I know that I can go and get this file again at any one point. I'm right clicking, telling it to uh, cut it just to get it out of this folder. At the very bottom I have a, a cut. I can also do control X to cut. And I'll find my way back to my folder, my local folder with my files, my ITSC 1401. Uh, here's the bootstrap folder that we're working with. There's our hello file. Here's JavaScript. I'll double click. I'll see all the JavaScript files and all the mappings that are here from the uh, Bootstrap project. I'll right click and tell it to paste. You can also press Control V as in Victor and that'll paste it. I'm going to close this uh, folder. Same thing with the one open in the back and I can even navigate away from jQuery. Uh, next, I need to go and uh, into my Visual Studio Code and check my file explorer. And I see that my bootstrap folder inside the JavaScript, there should be now a file called jQuery. It's green, different color, and I think that that means that it's on track. That means I have to confirm it and commit it and send it on its way. So. I'll click on my GitHub icon over here, the uh, and uh, put in the message that I'm uploading jQuery. Commit it. Click on my more actions and push it. Other than checking to see that it's up there, uh, not much to see right now until we actually start to. Uh, to play with jQuery files in our bootstrap and that should be coming up in the next exercise or two. But now we have bootstrap installed and we have jQuery downloaded and added to our repository as well, which is uh, what we wanted to do. In case you were wondering, I'm going to go to the repository inside of bootstrap inside of JavaScript and here's my jQuery.js. This is what the jQuery library looks like. Once it loads, I'm sure it's a lot of text that's loading. And actually, since it's compressed and it's it's in a more readable format, but the one thing that you can't see here, and maybe you can't see it on your on your browser either, is that the lines go way out. There's a lot of text. There's a lot of code to follow. And actually, it's uh, slowing down my system a little bit because it's trying to display all the text. And uh, 
just just know that we will not be opening up the file to edit it we will not be adding much if anything to jquery we'll just be making the right calls so that we can use all the good elements from within and uh, not have to even think about it <laughs>